Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Yeast Aid Part 23. In the previous video, I got no clue what happened. I don't know what we're doing. It's been like four or five days since I recorded anything. Uh, I, I do not know. Oh yeah, we did, did we do your side quest? Was that last video where they said the nun is too covered up? I mean, I don't know. On one hand, I'm like, well, it is a tropical island, so it's probably kind of stuffy. On the other hand, her ripping her clothes off just didn't really make that much sense. And why does she have to rip it so high? And like, how does she rip it so perfectly? I don't get it. I think we're going to maybe finally fight a boss. We're supposed to be going back to Gendarm because we got our Roy Calcum. Can I talk to everyone? I really don't remember. I didn't think it would go this smoothly. I feel like we finally found some hope. We're gonna build a ship with any blueprints. There's a lot to deal with, but let's tackle that when we can. Okay, Dogie, what your magic plan to build a ship? Uh, I'm just gonna like fucking wing it, bro. I know what a ship looks like. Blueprint schmooprint. Bah! And I realized that you and your friends are such skilled combatants. You know, I was going to put upstage my dazzling rocks, but no matter. I have other means of proving my metal. <laughs> Slowly, surely, bit by bit, you will learn the measure of my worth. I mean, at least he admits that he's like a loser boy compared to us. That 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 gives you some points. The moment Lox and Rakota are spending some time cooking together, I almost think they really were scissors, sisters and how nice they are to each other. Oh, nice foreshadowing. Part women to see, it's almost like they really are sisters. I mean, I don't, how does that work? I mean, I guess like maybe legally they would be sisters eventually. I guess they have the same upbringing in a way. Like if your dad disappears to a mysterious island for several years and then comes back and says, hey, I have a kid, this is your sister now? Like, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, okay. Let's go. All right, I do not remember how to play this game. So there's gonna be some rust. Maybe, maybe we'll fight a real boss here now. Like you think you're gonna be able to pass on through easily, but then out of nowhere, a large creature, a, a large creature. Right, it's fine. Um, I could use a little bit of a, um, it's a fucking Mishy, make a wishy. I've seen this weirdo before. Hey, he's not weird. You're weird. Th this creature. Um. Oh yeah, there is a Mishi in a Celsetta. Really? I don't think I've ever found it. I just remember somebody telling me about it. I don't really remember. But I do remember that being a thing, kind of. I actually know what this creature is. I reckon it's its cute ears, tails, and face. My father's old research materials. It's an elusive creature. But whenever it appears, it brings joy to those it meets. As I recall, it's called a Mishi. Mishi? That's his weirdo's name? Your name Rakota, okay? You, you can't talk shit. Or is that heard of it? His feet look strange. You hungry or something? You want some fish? Fruit? Uh, Mishishi? Mishishi? He says, I'm sick of eating fish and fruit. You can understand it? He just a teensy bit. Impressive. So if we don't want fish or fruit, should we give it a cooked meal? He says, give me all your food. Let's cook him something to eat. I'm not opposed to the idea. Let's feed it. Uh, you want some cabbage rolls? And she stares at you longingly. Take a, take a dang cabbage roll. That's not fish or fruit. Mishy quickly devoured the food. It's still hungry. Okay, what about a mushroom omelet? The greatest ripoff of all time? What? This, this MF just gave me crewberries? What the hell am I gonna do with crewberries? 
Don't those just heal you like 100 HP? Like, even if I was using items, they're not that good. I mean, it's kind of good because if you spam a bunch of them. All right, I mean, I guess we could come back with... I guess it's like the alternative to a uh, fishy bird. There's a mishy not bird. Oh, actually... No, 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 take me back. There was something that I forgot about. Well, I noticed this back when I was editing. We never, this thing back here in the, the angry world. I completely forgotten about it. Well, cause I know we found it and then it was like, oh, well we can't do anything with it. And then, what are you talking about? Don't, don't talk to me. I don't think that's going to help him. I don't really remember where it was, but it was near that area with like the level 50 raptors and everything. Which I guess in theory we could kill now if we really, really uh, wanted to. No, it's just that I don't want to, not that I can't do it, obviously. I think it was over this way. I'm a little surprised that it only takes 12, considering the area is, like, for level 50s, but... After sending the little of everyone in Castaway Village arrives okay, to help. I'm gonna start on it! Yeah. I don't know if there were any others that required, like, 14? I don't know, it's kind of hard to, like... Thanks, guys! Remember? I guess you can look on the map. This one's, like, 20 still, and this one was 15. Okay. This one was... Okay, we could go do this one as well. I don't know where this is. I mean, apparently we've discovered it, but I, I don't... Like, I don't know where it is. I guess it's on the other side of the beach. But it, why is it not showing? Like, we should have at least a little bit of a map, right? I mean, I feel like I should have a little teensy bit of a map. Check this out! Makeshift shelter. It appears to have been recently constructed, too. Maybe it's a damn velociraptor trap. Boy, am I glad to see all the survivors on this island. It's... I don't remember you. Eh! You the lady talking about food, maybe? Sorry, sorry, I forgot I was holding this. I just really to harvest some edible plants. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna slice you up. I'm not gonna see the meaty fats your thighs look like on the inside. <laughs> I have been looking for the perfect meat my for my Marava. soup. I help out in my husband's restaurant in Greek. Okay, so you, you were probably cookie lady? I had just bought some ingredients and was on my way home when the ship sank. You guys must have been on the Lombardia too, huh? Nope. We've lived here for a thousand years. Adel introduced the others and explained the situation to Meralda. So we're on a deserted island. It's the Isle of Saren of all places. Mm, hope I don't get turned into a dang old horny toad. I'm relieved to know there are other survivors besides me. I recognize that red hair. You must be Adol. What the hell? That brave young man who fought off the monster that attacked the ship. How do you know our name? We talked to like for one second. I don't trust you. Nobody should know Adol's name. You look so dashing out there. Moving on. You seem to have adjusted to your new circumstances rather well. Yes. Sure I have. Lucky for me, I saw my favorite kitchen knife. A stubborn cook is a force to reckon with, and a stubborn wife even more so. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Men are helpless against a stubborn wife. I'm worried about my husband, but I'm really worried about my kids. I hope they're okay. All six of them. Yes, I hope your children are... You mean to say you can birth to six children, but your figure is stunning. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say she looks too young to be married, but she does seem a little young to have six kids, but it's not impossible. <laughs> but I mean, if all you like, and you won't get any special treatment from me, though. 
Now, they like to join Castaway Village right away. Take care of all the household chores, cooking, cleaning, laundry, you name it. Adol sent for Dogie and had her escort Miralda back to Castaway Village. I guess we could make this stuff for thingy. What if... It's these three that we never made? Please, have some. Food's ready! Alright, it's done! Anything over here? The stir. I think it's a fast travel point for later. Because the other thing, we need like a double jump or something to get past here, and that just connected back to here. Okay, I want to go back over, I presume, through here. I don't know why I pretended we didn't have a map at all, because we've, you know, obviously been here, but... Yeah. This rock seems a bit more menacing than the other. I guess it is, does need 14 instead of 12 people. But I mean, if you ask me what's harder to get rid of, a big tree or a gigantic boulder? It's definitely the boulder, and by like a factor of like, by a lot, not just two extra people. I have a sitting little pair, everyone in Castaway Village arrives to help. All right, let's do this. I mean, I guess Dogie just gives a one big punch. Thanks everyone. Cause like that boulder, I see how it's, hmm. Okay, throat got a little clogged there. The boulder, I see how that's an obstacle. The big tree, Y'all and efforts can climb that. I'm just saying, if I can climb it, you can. These guys are like really low level. Oh, this is just where we were earlier with a uh, lady. Right? No, maybe not. I mean, it feels similar because we're going up a hill, but we didn't fight these enemies. I don't really need to fight you guys. One of these days, Adol's run won't be... I just, I feel like it doesn't actually make you go faster. Like, I feel like if you did a time test of, like, two Adol's running next to each other, one just walking normally and one holding sprint, they're the same speed. It just because he he starts to do the run animation, it feels like you're going faster. It like tricks your brain, but you're not actually going any faster. What a superb view! Stone gloves. Useless. Uh, my frames. They're all gone. Okay, for some reason this area has no frame rate. Okay, there it's better. Well, that was a... So far, it's been a waste of time. I guess we got that location thingy. so that we can maybe get something that would possibly potentially be slightly useful from dude in a hundred hours. There's nothing else. There's really nothing over here? Just that? Seriously, the, the frame rate is like atrocious over here. What the hell? Okay, that's... <laughs> Alright. Okay, that was, that's the down water thing? Or, why does this exist? <laughs> Alright, 
All right, g g get me out of here. I don't know if I missed something or not. The game says I'm at 100%. I can't read these freaking maps. What's this? Is that just the way I came? This is the way we came, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, take me back. I take me back. I mean, take me back to is there anything else. Are yeah, we going to do this now that we have 15? Where the hell is this? the right way to go. Yeah. Why are there so many creatures? Now this one's gotta have something good, right? Because it takes 15 people. Like, see, this this is not an obstacle. If I, I could climb that, all right? Thanks, everyone. Like it's it's just it's just dirt. You just climb the dirt. It's not even really climbing. Are you like super wolves who are like really high level? Okay, no. Thought maybe since you were locked behind the thing. It might be like, hey, they were like the same enemies from earlier, but now they actually have a billion HP. What sort of delicious goodies await us? It's not amazing, but I mean, it's it's a straight benefit. I really need like make at all run fast buttons so I can stop doing the like bunny bunny hopping and jump rolling. Now I don't know if there is such a such a technology known as make at all move fast. That it? That it? Guess so. Okay. I, mean, I guess it was worth it, kind of. Oh, there's something over here. Don't respawn, Spider Lord. We don't have to be enemies. The fact that they don't respawn means they are endangered creatures, and Adol's a murderer. He is, he is a, well, murderer is not the right word, but uh, he's, he is exterminating the last remnants of a species over and over again. This is a damn coconut. I came here for a coconut? Beached remains. Oh, what a beautiful view. So this is supposed to be a primordial. Well, I guess it could be a primordial that's native to here. Because I was going to say. So it's like, if this is a primordial and primordials stopped existing, like, long-ass time ago, I feel like the bones would have been totally eroded by the sea by now. But maybe it's slightly recent. Here we go. What's biting today? I got one! The most incredible fish you've ever seen! Is that- I think that's new. 
Yeah. That it? That's it? Oh, something's there. All right, well, we caught up on that and all that stuff. Wasn't really that useful. What is this? I don't even know where this is. Water and wood hills. Oh, this is where we just were, and this is that thing that we can't go through? Okay. All right, now we can go back and maybe potentially, before the game ends, fight another boss. We'll see. It remains to be seen if there's another boss in this game. Look at how fast he moves. Such swiftness. Alrighty, let's get back to it. Back to your regularly scheduled dip, dive, ducking, and or dodging. Maybe even dodging multiple times. I'm not scared of primordials anymore. So, yeah, let's keep going. You're not the one in control. I am, and I have a healthy fear of all enemies. Thank you, I suppose. That's a bull. That should have been a flash move. And you know what? I'm going to file a, an official complaint. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna mail a damn clip. Wow! Check this place out. Of that. Send it to Japan on a VHS tape and say, "What the hell? Explain." Be quiet, Sahad. Be quiet, Sahad. Exactly. Take it up to you, Sahad. Yes. Leave it to me. It's like, Sahad, we just said don't don't talk. My turn Hello? now. Yeah. My turn now. Get sliced. Yeah, get sliced. Yeah. Okay. That one I will not be mailing because I think I deserve to get hit there. Is there an enemy? Impossible to tell. Leave it to me. My turn now. No, no, no. You will, you will cease and desist. Nope, nope. Come on, boss, fight me. I can, I can smell it. I don't even care if it's like shit from ass. I just want a boss fight. It's been so long. Look, Adol. It's beautiful down there. It's always beautiful down there. Well, unfortunately, no, we can't because there's a damn evil scorpion. That was way too early. And that was completely accidental. I was trying to dodge the poison. I dodged too early for the poison, but right in time for the snake. I believe is what happened there. I oh got, I got no SP, man. See, that's what there should be a beeping for. Not when you're at low HP, because like I know I'm at low HP. I need a beep that's like, yo, you got no SP, dog. You're gonna try and hit your skill, and it shit is not going to work. Let's go. My turn now. Can we see everything? I see the big tree. The tree that's not important in the slightest. The most unimportant tree. You ever done did see? Oh, something's there. Huh, huh, huh. Looks like we can rest. This is not like a good boss arena. Hi. 
I shall take it. Uh, we're up pretty damn high. We've made it to the ridge, so the summit shouldn't be much further ahead. What's wrong, Rakota? Bird dragon, bird dragon. Something's coming from the sky. Bird dragon, bird dragon. Ah! My word. That's the primordial pterosaur! Given, a, given just a dragon a chicken face is like the easiest way to make that shit unintimidating though. It's like if you just if you just look at everything but the got the face, you're like, oh man, that thing looks really uh like it's gonna be a hard thing, and then you see the beak and you're like, oh okay, this thing's a little bee. I can take him. That thing's even bigger up close. Indeed. I think we can assume this creature has claimed gendarme as its territory. I don't think it's going to let us escape. Then let us fight! On guard! You can't win. You don't have your coconut gun anymore. Alright, how does this work? We have like a like a gimmick arena. Get your moonlight butterfly looking ass out of here. You have three HP bars. You do, but it looks like they're not. Right. That was a little bit faster than I would have expected. It was like a. I mean, so far this seems fairly fine. You know, this the hitbox is a little fast. I think it's a mixture of it seems like his hitbox is maybe very slightly bigger than the model and he's a little bit faster than he looks. Okay, that's absolute and total bull. What's she doing, buddy? I can't move? Okay, so we can't actually get over there. Got it. Oh, all right, those home? Uh, lady, we already know your attacks, don't we? I'm gonna push through and see father again. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it, I don't... I was forged to the fires of the previous games. I will keep mashing this button as long as it takes. So one thing that seems to be the, the main thing, your AI completely useless in this fight. Since it seems like you can really only hit if you flash move. That was way too early. Let's go. I mean, there's just no chance to hit the boss. How is that not a flash move? I mean, it was going fine at first, but then he just like, I never got a chance to hit the boss anymore. Like, how is that a fl Like, I was so far away and I did it so early. 
And then I didn't hit the button because I was talking. Like this is uh this has got big fish from yeast four energy of where he just constantly charges you over and over and you never actually get a chance to hit the boss. Now, it's not that I don't value your HP, Zahad. That's not, that's not why I switched to you. It's because I just believe that you're going to... Boys, my attack should be working, but... I just have faith in you. Doesn't matter. I'm going to push through and Okay, I keep expecting again. them to homo me, but they don't. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it, Adolf. Can't attack. We had no SP, apparently. I hadn't done an attack in 15 years. I'd forgotten. Okay, let's... Before we even get stuck in the loop, let's go back and get our SP from the start. Having a, a stockpile and then our extra skill ready as well, so we can maybe try and get a peek at the third phase. Like, well, probably as soon as we get a chance in the second phase, we'll just ult so we can see what the third phase is like. Oh, yeah, okay, we're at 30 minutes. Do I have something? Maybe I have something running in the background. Do I? I do. This is supposed to be Paul. Yeah, I think, I think that's while we're having slight frame okay yeah firefox is using 50 like percent of my cpu for some reason what the hell <laughs> firefox chill all right um all right take take me back wait did we did we heal yeah we did like we i guess that's why we're getting the frame drops it was weird, it was only happening in that one area, but then it started happening there in the... Like, it wasn't happening during this boss fight, but for some reason being in the... The village was causing it as well. Alright. And we're also are probably going to want to at least get, like, one more level. More than that is... I mean, since there's the lessened XP thing... I just um, didn't hit the button. It is a little annoying just not being able to hit the boss half the time. I did that way too early. How is that not a flash move? Yeah. You know, that one, like that one shouldn't have been, and it was. That also should have been a flash move. That should have been a flash move. What is this timing? You know, that one was way too early. That one was also too early. That was perfectly timed, as all things should be. That one I was still animation locked. I mean, it felt so easy at first, but now it's like... I think in these fights where it's like the timing is slightly off, I have an advantage 
on the first time like on the first attempt because i'm not actually uh timing it properly and then when i start timing it properly that actually doesn't count i just couldn't hit the button Because like what I think happens is at the start of the fight, I'm mistiming it, but it's counting because the timings are slightly off. And then I'm like, okay, is that the timing? And then it's like once I see the attack a few more times, I start timing it how I feel like it should be properly. And then the game's like, no, actually you have to, you, that's not the timing. The timing is different than the animation. That one was a little early. Maybe it's just like, because that second one felt faster. Please, just a nugget of SP. Alright, I keep thinking that's the peck. He's doing the fire. How is this not in time? I love not being able to hit the boss. Let's go. Right. I just like I don't know what the timing is on that attack at all. Any moves you were still alive, side? How is that not like? I don't get it. This is one where I, I can't do a lot of talking. I have to learn the what the game thinks the timings are. I mean, that attack is fine. Is this one slower? It is a little bit slower, I think. I think here you have to hit it faster. An opening. Like, I just feel like that's so on time. What? Just actually, I don't know. I mean, I want to at least see the... You're at your damn mind. How in the fuck did that count? I did that so late. Now, it's not that I think you're going that I, it's because I don't think I can hit this attack and I just want to preserve Adol's HP. That's not why I switched to you, okay? It's because I have utmost faith in your abilities. Okay. I'm sorry. Such a voice. My attack should be working, but... Doesn't matter. I'm going to push through and see Father again. Yeah, that's right. Okay, remember, that Let's attack do doesn't, it, doesn't fireball you. I mean, that time it felt like it was... Like, that actually seemed right. I was just spamming. Leave it to me. Yeah. 
we get the chance. Okay. I would like to add all of you if possible. Let's go. Switch. I'm gonna finish it. We're finally gonna push you to your third phase. We needed the flash card. Well, I mean, you're you're not as tanky. I think you're deceptively tanky. I was spamming. My head was empty. My brain was only full of R1 square. Actual nonsense. That one kind of sucks because, like, you can't actually see him. You, you just kind of have to, like, it's vibe-based timing. I think I have it, but, I mean, we did just mess up. But, like, you know, we've gotten it in the past. I think that was just I did it a little too early. Because of the fire, I was a little... I just, I don't buy that for a fucking second. Like, you have to do it after the attack is over. It's like Adol's manipulating time. Because it feels like these attacks are over when they want you to move. Do they have anything that gives like... Isn't there something that gives like SP regen? I think it's like a food item, right? Because that would be pretty strong here, because... I just... Wait, you, what are you talking about? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe they're not that bad, the timings, and it just feels like it in the moment. It's one of those things where I'd have to look at it like frame by frame. Like an editing? Or just at the raw recording? Because one thing I did notice, like, looking back at, like, the Wiseman fight. Are you okay? I did that so... Like, that one just took so long, it felt like. Is that, like, his timing was weird on his, like, sweepy attacks. Where, depending on how close you were, it felt like, it looked like the timing was different. Yes. Like, if you were really close to him, you had to press the button fast. Yeah. If you were at a, any of a slight distance, you had to press the button slightly slower. To the point that it looked like the attack was already finished. Alright, we'll do one more attempt. I would like to get to his third phase, though. Or see what he does. That's... I guess what the issue is, is that you're not dodging him, you're dodging the shockwaves. Which is a little counterintuitive. He doesn't have a hitbox there. That's not what we're dodging. We're dodging the shockwaves that spawn from his attack. So we need to think of it like that. Now that's super counterintuitive, because that's not really how fights should generally work. And that's why it feels like you have to hit it so late. Is because you are blocking after his animation is finished. Because instead of blocking him, you're blocking the shockwave that spawns from his attack, you know, a quarter second afterwards. This is the first fight where it feels like SP's a problem. I guess because you don't really have a chance, like... Like, because you can only hit him during flash moves, really? That was so early. 
Uh, you can only hit him during flash moves. Let's just go ahead and pop it. That'll give us a head start on phase two. Yeah, he didn't. Now, that's just... That just feels so bad. Because it feels like I'm being, like, rewarded for failure and punished for good timing. Because in my mind, that Loxia dodge there was poorly timed, but the Adol one was perfect. Okay, so we do want to try and make sure we're far away to have extra time for them to all get lined up. That attack is fun. You just got to remember he only... It's like lightning. It doesn't strike the same place twice. Just make sure you're not spamming as well. Should be a follow, a swingy boy. Okay. Got extremely lucky. I wasn't expecting a swingy boy. Okay, he's not hitting us. I feel like both of those should have been flash moves. That should have been a flash move. Leave it to me. Ah, shit. I didn't think it was going to hit me. All right. I also didn't think that was going to hit me. Whatever, man. I mean... I kind of like it, but I also kind of dislike it. I don't like the way it works with the, his attacks. Where you have to dodge so late. It just feels kind of counterintuitive. Because I feel like you should be dodging before the attack finishes, because that's the way a dodge works. Not dodging retroactively. All right, one, one last one. Because that one was close. To at least getting to his third phase. Like, that just feels wrong. I was just spamming, man. This attack is pointless, doesn't need to be in here. It's got, it's the fish thing from, uh, Yeast 4, where he just wasted all this time doing charges that made the fight take so long. That one was a little early. That was almost completely accidental. I didn't even think he could do the fireball this early. Okay. How is... You're fine, Sahad. Put me in a baby. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, no, I'm on fire. Nobody cares. I just did it slightly late. What? It should be working, but. Doesn't matter. 
I'm gonna push through and see Father again. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it, Adol. Shut off. He's old. I'll take this. All right. That should have been a flash move. I'll take that to my damn grave. And then, like that attack is normal, where you have to dodge, you know, before you're hit. Except like there, where I didn't dodge before I was hit. It's just, it's all these mixed timings. But all right, there's no point. I've, I've said my piece. Let's get our, get a level or two. Probably just one because the levels take so long that I think it's better to just spend the extra like 15 minutes it would take to get an extra level on just doing the boss fight and perfecting it. Because you almost need to perfect them anyway. The only thing really getting a level does is it makes the fights a little bit faster, so the margin for error is a little bit lower. Because, I mean, how much is this even going to give me? I mean, you, we can kill you a little bit faster now, but, I mean, that didn't even move the XP bar. But yeah, I'll get one level. I don't remember if everyone's weapons are upgraded all the way. I'm pretty sure Sahad's isn't, so we could do that as well. Granted, the AI don't really get a chance to attack in this fight anyway, so I don't think it's really that impactful. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back. We're kind of throwing at the end here, but uh, we should be fine. Said the guy who's about to get hit by a fireball. Oh, please. I couldn't even begin to see the attack. Uh, sir. You are not alive. All right. So that fight's actually extremely easy. Um, this is also my second time beating it because the original footage was completely unwatchable. Some weird error with, like, OBS. Uh, like, it was unbelievably stuttery.
I, I don't really know because I mean we were having some issues at the start of the video which is just because like I had Firefox running with like too much stuff that I've forgotten to close and I thought that was the issue and like I don't know if there was some sort of like I, I don't know but like I didn't notice it when I was recording because I was paying attention to the game and not looking at the OBS preview window but it was like almost completely unwatchable and so then I noticed and ran it back. And that was actually the first attempt on the run. Back. Well, second attempt on the run back because I, I was still having like some OBS issues. And like, I just had to basically like, like I just kept restarting it. And then eventually it was working. I, I don't really know what the problem was, but uh, it seems to be working now. But like the, the first attempt, like I kept like, pausing the fight to fiddle with OBS and we still almost won. I don't know. This, that fight just kind of clicked for me. I mean, we were kind of fucking up there at the end there, but um, the main thing is just the inconsistent timings on his attacks, but once you know them, they're fairly generous and it's a lot easier if, when the attacks have timings that don't match up with their animation. I think I suffer an extra debuff when talking because... I'm just going off like my sight and my vibes as opposed to like having to constantly, you know, think in the back of my head, like this attack is bot. And plus he's, his, he's completely scripted is another thing that makes him really easy. Uh, Cause unlike some of the other bosses, there's no randomness in the way he works. Like even his phase transitions, like he doesn't transition based on HP. He transitions based on time. So, I mean, if you notice there, because I've learned the fight enough, we were able to get him down to, like, half HP before he even did the uh, the transition to shooting fireballs. Or, I mean, maybe even less than half HP. But, yeah, that was a fight that just, like, once it clicked, it was really easy. I'm so exhausted. Which, usually, that's the sign of a good fight. Now, that one, it having no randomness whatsoever is maybe... I mean, it's good and bad. Yes, but now we can cross the summit. But it does mean that once you know, because he, you know, some the only real randomness is he might shoot a fireball at the start, but he'll land, do a, his, his beak stuff, I guess, is kind of random. That's not completely scripted, but he'll do, you know, a swipe, or he'll do a, you know, paw attack, paw attack, swipe, then maybe some beak stuff in the middle, He'll do the charge, do a charge, land, do that stuff. Uh, then he'll do like one charge into the landing and then he'll land again. Like it's, it's very scripted. We can finally see the northern region for ourselves. It's really the only randomness I think being, and then like in his second phase, he has this fire breath attack that we never even ran into. Like on the, on the recording runs, I don't really know how it works. Um... On the first attempt where I beat him, basically it killed Sahad, but, or it killed Adol. And then I hate that the footage was lost because it was actually pretty cool, but I don't even know if I'm going to put it in the video at all because it was basically just like two FPS. And I mean, the OBS seems to be working fine now, so I have no clue what the problem was. Because I mean, sometimes I can have an issue with like just a general like memory leak on my computer. I don't know what program or anything it's tied to. I got started getting it like four years ago after a Windows update, so I just blame Windows for it. But if I leave my computer on for too long after like more than two or three days, I can start to run into like performance issues or like, you know, increased performance issues. And I thought maybe that was the problem with, uh, the first half of this video plus just having like too much stuff open in the background which usually isn't a problem but I just had more stuff than normal open but you know restarted the computer and then did the boss fight was really happy that we won like the second time after getting a level and then looked at the video or looked over at the OBS thing and I'm like holy shit this is in two FPS what the hell now I think we're just gonna end it here because this is when I ended the video last time I think we're maybe a little early 
I might, I don't know. I was like, I, was, I could try and include the original footage as well, just for the commentary. Because it was pretty good. We basically did the entire, like, last third of him as Sahad, and it was kind of tense. But I'll have to make another look and see exactly how watchable it is. Probably won't include it, but if I do include it, it would be right here at the end of the video. But we'll go ahead and call it here. Maybe a little early, maybe not. But yeah, that's a that's a good fight. Other than the, just the jank issue of his paw or wing slap attacks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I mean, they're not really paws, but that's just what I think of. Other than that attack having a very inconsistent hitbox animation, or like the animation doesn't match up with the actual attack, which is that you're not dodging his slam, you're dodging the after effects of his slam, which just feels weird because the rest of his attacks aren't like that. Well, exception that the beak slam is the same. That That is definitely a, a criticism I have of the game when it comes to... Uh, like the animation representations. It's it's not like some of the previous games where the hitboxes are just broken. It's that the part where you're supposed to dodge doesn't really, isn't consistent. Because some attacks, you know, you dodge before it hits you. Some attacks you dodge after it hits you. And then there's also different timings for flash guard and flash move on each of those attacks. And it just makes it feel very inconsistent. Because you'll feel like you have the timing, but actually you don't have the timing. Because I, I can't remember if I talked about this in the, in the video or not already. But like what I think ends up happening to me so often for these fights where what you're actually supposed to dodge doesn't match up with the animation is that I'm getting the timing wrong at first, but thinking I'm getting it right. Like... I'm, I'm dodging late and it's counting it as a dodge, but then when I get more familiar with the fight and are paying more attention to the animations, then I start dodging at the proper time based on the animation and then it's not counting anymore, which feels weird because I'm like, well, I was doing it right earlier when like, yeah, I was doing it right, but visually I was doing it wrong. I feel like that sentence or those sentences made no sense, but they made sense kind of in my head. But yeah, I don't know. It's basically like we kind of traded one problem for another. The hitboxes are not bad like they've been in some of the previous Yeast games, but what they want you to dodge isn't always clear. Alrighty. I'm ExtraShees87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.